Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Bach here, and I'm going to show you how to make these adorable Chinese dragons that you would see in a New Year's parade. So what you do need for this project is two paper plates. If you do not have two paper plates, you could probably do exactly the same thing, but with paper instead. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is one paper plate we're going to fold in half. And then we're going to crease it. Just like that. This one we're going to use for his accessories. So we're going to fold this one in half. And then we're going to open it. And then we're going to cut down the middle where the fold is. Then we're going to take one of these and fold it in half. And cut again. And we're going to do exactly the same on this one too. Fold it in half and cut it. So you should have four pieces here and one that is just folded in half. The one that's just folded in half is going to be his mouth. The other pieces are going to be for his eyes his tongue, and his decorations down below on his beard. So, starting with his eyes, you're going to take two pieces, and it will be attached at the top of his head. So we need to fold this to make tabs. So what I do is I just take my thumb and I bend it back, and I crease it to make a tab like that. I have to do it to the other side too. You could do them at the same time so that they're the same tabs, though it's not necessary. So this part here will be either stapled or glued or taped, and it'll be marked like that. Okay, now we're ready to decorate the eyes. So I use the actual natural curve of the paper plate to make their elaborate eyelashes and then their eyes over here. So a black crayon works best after, if you want to do it in pencil, you can. But this part here is the tab and then this is the rest of this is his eye. So I started with just using the curve of the plate to make his actual shape of his eye on both sides. Then where the line is, where the tab is, I drew his eyeball, it's kind of like a half circle, again on both sides. You could then go even smaller to make the pupil and the pupil. At the top here, again, I used the natural curve of the paper plate and I drew the line right on the curve. And then I used the ridges of the paper plate for the eyelashes. There's not a set number. You can make them either really, really close together or far apart. Just like that. And that's the eyes. If it helps for you to label them on the back, go ahead and do that. I'm going to put them to the side. Then we're going to make his tongue. That is going to go in the middle of his mouth with one of these. So it's up to you. You can actually just leave it exactly the way it is. It does make a nice shape for a tongue. I wanted to round the edges a little bit. So I just took my scissors and I snipped the corners on both sides and then again I made like a little tab so that this part could get glued in the middle. This will get colored in just a minute. 
So that's it for the tongue. And then the last thing we're going to do with this one is we're going to make his chin decorations that extend off of his chin. So what I do need to do is I need to cut this in half straight down the middle. You could bend it to get it exact, but they're going to overlap like this eventually. And now we're ready to color. Crayons work best for this project. I actually already did a set so that you didn't have to watch me color. So for the tongue, I used a red crayon. I've got my tab here. For my eyes, I used crayons. I blended in some colors here, used black, left this white, and then I colored this in a pattern here. And then for his designs that are going to hang off his chin, I also used crayons and I blended it that way. And then we're ready to put it together. Putting it together is going to take some patience. Oh, I'm sorry. And we need to decorate his mouth and his body. I apologize. So this is the inside of his mouth. So what I did, if you can kind of see how he is opening his mouth, I made his mouth open this way. So I used the shape of the paper plate. And then I kind of made like an open tongue shape in the middle that his tongue is going to stick out of. And then I made the illusion of teeth. That's up to you if that's what you want to do. The teeth can be straight or they could be zigzag. So I was going to make them zigzag. Again, using a crayon or a pencil first. I do have a Sharpie, but not everyone has that. And I do really want you to be careful with using a Sharpie at home. Okay, next I'm going to take glue or if you have clear tape, or if you have a stapler. So any of those will work. I'm going to grab the glue. If you have liquid glue, that is probably stronger. But I'm going to use a glue stick to show you and just in case that's all you have. So I'm going to put a little glue down in his mouth. I have this little tab here. I'm going to press it down and I'm going to hold it. I probably need to color in the other side of his tongue like I did on this one so that it shows up. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to let it go and I'm going to press it down. If you were taping it, you would tape down the flap here too. Then I'm going to take, how do his eyeballs next? Then I'm going to take his eyes and where the tab is, I'm going to glue it back here. So I'm going to put glue on my tab. Again, you can staple this on or use tape or liquid glue, but you do need to wait for it to dry. And I'm going to press and hold probably for a good 20 seconds or so. And then I'm going to do the other one. Press and hold. You can even tape it on the back here, as you can see there. And then I'll move this up. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to glue these chin tabs here. I kind of had them so that they can overlap move this a little higher so you can see so that they could overlap like this you could do it this way you could really do it however you want um, they're just for decorations so I'm going to glue one on top of the other and then I'm going to glue this tab and I'm going to stick it right under his chin and press and hold and after you allow the ample time for it to dry then you have a really fun dragon that chomps its mouth open and closed like it does on the Chinese New Year. Thanks for watching.